So another thing for our practicing or aspiring astro mages and astro herbalists is speaking in terms of building your rain barrels. Um, you know, when when you have the sun in Aries and the sun in Leo, that's when you make your herbal preparations, your spagyrics, your herbal sachets, or your sun talismans, so that at this time in the winter, you have that vitality from the sun. And at the same time, right now, Saturn is at the strongest that he will be for many, many years, many, many mm. years. If you've been waiting to do a, a Saturn talisman or some Saturn magic, even just invoking Saturn on his hour day, now's the time to do it. Do it before the end of March, before he enters into Pisces. So then you, that's a way to to capture that Saturn energy for when you really need it. Uh, so that's just a something to think about. Yeah. One thing, one thing I might say in regard to that though is, um, you know. We are at the end of Saturn in the height of his power, right? And so rushing to get Saturn now is it, not the way the Saturn operates. It is anti-Saturn, you know? yeah. Yeah, and so, you know, if you were like, like there's definitely, there are really good Saturn elections coming up right now. Um, you know, cause Sat pretty soon Venus is gonna move into Aquarius. And so Saturn is gonna have the nighttime benefic just like hanging out, it's like just a, a perfect Saturn situation. You know what I mean? And you're gonna have daytime charts. The sun's still gonna be in Capricorn. So like once the sun comes up then you're, it's like, it's a perfect Saturn situation here in a lot of ways. So, so definitely there are good Saturn elections, but you know, like I would, I would hesitate to, sometimes I would hesitate to make a Saturn talisman in the first place. I've made a Saturn, right, Saturn yeah. talisman before. It's malefic. It'll want to fuck shit up sometimes. You know, you can get crazy authority figures like um, angry bosses and stuff like that can show up. They can, um, sometimes Saturn magic will give you joint pain. Sometimes it'll make you grumpy. Sometimes it'll make you smelly, like this kind of stuff, right? Um, things that Jupiter doesn't do, right? Like if you right. do bad Jupiter magic, then Jupiter's not gonna fuck you up. If you do bad Saturn magic, you will hear about it, right? right. <laughs> and so, so this is like part of the reason why I'm like big on habits, routines. If you want to do Saturn magic during this time and you're and you're fresh, you're like not you're not in the habit of doing astro magic and this kind of thing, then I would start with regular Saturn prayers. Right. right. More yeah. than engraving a stone and yeah. like trying to do this big bang style magic. I would like lean into a daily regular kind of practice, maybe weekly, maybe on Saturdays you show up and, and give Saturn a little something and feed the crows yeah. or whatever it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think good. that's that's very that's wise. Um, yeah, but I, and I also think yeah, you should not be rushing <laughs> Saturn stuff. But if you're ready, if you're ready to do something, um, now is the time. You're not going to have a chance like this again. But maybe um, it's just like honoring Saturn and saying thank you right. rather than making something. Yeah, like just saying the Orphic hymn mm -hmm. to Saturn in the day and the hour of Saturn, lighting a candle, and and asking for esoteric wisdom or discipline. Um, we're just communing with him. Those are good things. And I like what you said about saying thank you to Saturn. People don't yeah. say thank you to Saturn very much, even though he's the one really growing people up, really giving you the toughness that it takes to live through an apocalypse and like this sort of stuff, you know what I mean? Like it's not easy to get Saturn's <laughs> lessons, but then once you have them, you're much, much stronger. Saturn makes people very strong. And yeah. so, uh, you know, coming at those kind of chal challenges and obstacles with a heart of thanksgiving is a really good way to get into Saturn. Yeah. Austin Kopic said, uh, the least magic thing is the most magic thing. Uh, and I think that that's uh, really wise. You know, this sort of like show up every damn day. And yep. in doing that, then you build something that's really worth building, but it doesn't look like it on the day to day. Yeah, yeah. that's a really good point. I like that a lot. Yeah, and working with your habits, that is, I, th I think, definitely inherently magical. I mean, that in a way, I think that's the only. <laughs> may be the only form of free will that we have, <laughs> you know. You make a good point. <laughs>